the 50th minute. Kovacic to MNEK. I cannot even commentate normally on this because I'm scoring the fifth goal against Bayern Munich. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports. And I'm doing shit, yes, because I'm so sick. Honestly, my mo my voice might sound a bit different today, but yesterday I was dying in the bed because I was so sick and it just got a bit better, so I was able to go ahead and upload this video for you guys. But if you want to see a vlog today, smash those 800 likes and I will be uploading that one today. MNEK is the best player in our team so far, 84 rated. Together with Bender, I think he is the highest rated player. Oh no, sorry, Mandanda actually has 86, so we have 86 rated Mandanda, MNEK and Bender being the highest rated players of our team. That is probably a good thing because we have one of them in the defense, one of them in the midfield and one of them in the striking position. And hopefully one of those players will have an impact on this game because this started off with Obraniak's free kick being saved by the 86 rated goalkeeper Mandanda who no one really seems to like. No one of you guys in the comments does like Mandanda. I know he makes a lot of mistakes but I still like him. He is a great goalkeeper. In some situations his reflexes are insane. And that is mainly the reason why I still have hope in Mandanda. But this game just basically started with Werder Bremen attacking the whole time. I just couldn't do anything. It was them attacking, attacking, attacking in the first half. And I just basically tried my best to defend. But Mandanda was really on form. So Werder Bremen was not able to score in the first half. In the second half, Lacazette got into the game. Because I really felt like I needed someone in the offense to be able to go through through the defense and shoot and that was the thing I couldn't do in the first half I basically tried my best to get into uh, shooting positions and this one right here wasn't even a shooting position uh, to be fair because MNEK had a very bad angle right there and then he went out of the game it was Werner joining into the game in the 79th minute we had a corner kick and it was uh, Castro taking it Castro on to Fabian Scher our center back is finally getting another goal he is one of those center backs you would expect to score a lot of goals in your season now he has two goals I believe and I'm very happy with him Fabian Scher is most definitely one of the most well-rounded defenders in FIFA 15 and many of you guys have already used him but we have won this game against Werder Bremen it is 1-0 in the end Mandanda really likes to walk through the net but as you can see we are now in first place together with Bayern Munich because uh, we have the same amount of points but they do have the same amount of goals as well so we will see how it will turn out in the next game maybe after the next game we will be sitting in first place of the Bundesliga we got a very lucky draw in the Champions League. We are playing against Feyenoord because a lot of other teams would have been pretty bad for us. But we got very lucky because we were, I think we are first in our Champions League group. And Feyenoord is not really a team that you would expect to win against us. But they do have some great talents like Boetius or Congolo in their team. And this game started off with fine art on the attack. Basak Ciolo with a cross to Tevrede and he is not able to score in the 8th minute. They had their chances but now it was time for Sun. Sun on the left. Sun looking for Kramer. Kramer is through. Not really pacing through. Taking his time and scoring the first goal in this Champions League match. In this very important away game. Then it was fine art on the attack but Mandanda able to clear that one. 25th minutes son cutting inside nearly getting fouled does still have the ball pass it to Lacazette and he misses it miserably that was probably one of the worst misses Lacazette had so far for me Lacazette once again this time trying to redeem himself gets past the defenders and then gets fouled that should have been a red card but it wasn't but Fabian Scher our center back scores his second goal in this episode and I'm very happy that finally we have scored the second goal in this away game against Feyenoord but then they were on the attack as you can see Mandanda really going out of his goal but still getting the lob the tried lob from the Feyenoord player then it was Lacazette finishing it up 
3-0 for Bayer Leverkusen against Feyenoord and as you can see we were making some changes Lacazette now going out after he scored I felt like I wanted MNEK in the game Werner and Zuccolini MNEK should have just go ahead and hold the ball in front of the goal and that was the thing I was planning to do but in the end it was me still attacking and I tried to get the fourth goal it just didn't happen because the goalkeeper got to those two chances of me Werner is really tying his shoes very nicely good job mate but Mandanda is this time not running through his net he is a happy guy celebrating like a normal person Alex Tejas is thanking me for playing him the whole time he is now 77 rated and boys, this is something I will be doing a lot from now on. I'm taking a look at the job offers Napoli and Fiorentina are offering me to go ahead and play for their team, or better said, to be their coach. But I'm not really interested in joining into the Italian league. The only leagues I will try and join is going to be, uh, I think, La Liga. I would really like to get a job offer from Villarreal. That would be insane because I would really love to go there or the BPL we will see what will happen in the end but now we should concentrate on the game against Hoffenheim it starts with Mandanda clearing it on the uh, 40th minute no something like the 39th minute then Chalanolu is getting past the defender very easily with the skill and then missing the easy finish and I just thought that could have been a very nice goal from him but he messed it up but this one was a nice goal MNEK scores 1-0 no it is an offside we sadly were offside with MNEK right there. That was a clean first touch finish from MNEK, but then he had to go out. He had to make some space for Lacazette joining in. Lacazette against the defender gets past him and then he gets fouled, which is going to be a red card for Vestergaard. He is now gone and uh, Hoffenheim are now only 10 players on the pitch. Alex Teyes, the left back, takes the free kick and sadly he wasn't able to score I really need to learn how to score those really close free kicks I'm not able to score under 22 yards seriously I'm just not able to do that I need more space Tuccolini right now holding on to the ball passing it to Cher Cher this time getting past the defenders and I don't know what he's doing there 18th minute Fabian Cher is trying his best to score I think I went all out attacking and that was my mistake because right now Modeste is passing it to Rudy, Rudy to Hamad and they score a goal. I wanted too much. I just wanted too much. I wanted to win this game, but then in the 19th minute, it was Chalanolu with the pass to Tejas. Tejas is through. Tejas with the shot, but the goalkeeper gets to it. But now we are in the 90th minute. Hyung Min San getting past one defender. Cannot shoot. Passes it to Hakan. Hakan to Ostunali. Ostunali with the shot and he equalizes it. It is 1 1. We get the one point out of this game and we are not getting the second loss of the season from this match. We were able to go ahead and score the goal against Hoffenheim, which still keeps us in the top three and we are very lucky that we didn't lose that game i went out all out attacking and that was my mistake but as you can see we are still in second place one point behind borussia dortmund and it is a very exciting season borussia dortmund and bayern are not giving up and wolfsburg are getting closer and closer because the top three are messing up the whole time and there is an injury following the last game. Tuccolini is now gone. The season is nearly finished for him but it is Alexander Meyer as it is in real life. He is in first place in my Bundesliga season which is amazing. I really didn't expect him to be that good in FIFA as well but Manchester City is offering us a job. Schalke as well but I'm not going to be taking the Schalke job but I will also not be taking the job offers until the season is over so guys no worries right there but Manchester City is a really interesting job offer but yeah I will not take it right now I'm just taking a look at those offers Tejas got plus one and yeah that's about it for today guys smash the like button thank you so much for watching the vlog video will be up later on thank you take care peace